Okay. Hey y'all, I'm not really good at this camera thing, but we're gonna try it out. This is just, you know, me trying to be accountable for myself for the business and make it work. So I'll just take y'all along on the journey for me for right now. We're doing some inventory check on some crews that we just pressed um, a couple days ago. We have an event coming up on Saturday for Black Houston Month, and I'm just doing this just to hold myself accountable. So I'm sorry to see my room, but we're gonna see how it goes because it's gonna be well. You know, it's gonna go well. Have the faith. Um, and I'm just taking on the journey with me. I don't really see too many people of my color doing this and my, my age, especially. <laughs> I'm about to be in my mid 30s um, and doing this with um, a kid at home. So, yeah, I hope y'all love the content and following my journey. Be starting from the bottom, we're going to get something fast. So, I'm starting to my room. So, these are the things that you like me need. So, you don't, you know, that's how we have to start with this, but these are the things that I have. He pressed. Um, which I just put on to heat. It's got about 115 more degrees to go to get to 350. So it usually takes about a half an hour to um, heat up. But these are the things that I just pressed, um, the designs that I created myself not too long ago. So since we do have an event coming up um, in a couple of days, I'm just doing some quality check, making sure everything is good. And then I have to press some of the backs of these too just to make sure um, that I get the other side of the design on the shirts. So pressing the front and back of things is just a lot. So um, usually these are like made to order, but I did this um, a few at a time because we have an event coming up. So hopefully we get, you know, the sales going with this. And yeah, it's a lot. So I started this um, from my own need to focus on my mental health, you know, the therapy i have a son on the autism spectrum too so all these things here are like you know things that i find helpful and things that i always need to keep in mind like these things first we started off with jewelry like we see here this one says grace and gratitude just little mini messages like this um and then we have things too so this one we have um this one i gotta do some quality control check on this one because i feel like this one isn't up to par so i gotta before i sell it i gotta make sure it's straight but um, we started in the summer of, what year are we in? 2023, summer of 2023, summer of 2020. We started in the summer of 2022 selling these as t-shirts and these sold out in like, I think two to three weeks. We, you know, made my first couple hundred dollars that way. Um, and I'm just excited. So just to see the journey. So these are the uh, signature always pour into yourselves um, with some affirmations on the back. So I got some things that we need to get started on. Um, so let me just walk through the things that you may need to start for your business. And we're just going to, you know, show you what I'm doing. So I already showed you guys the heat press. Um, and then you also need like some vinyl and things like that as well too. So um, depending on what you need, you don't necessarily need a vinyl cutter, but this is the one I have. But uh, as you can see, I didn't, you know, use it yet. However, you may want to get... Um, some transfers i just start that way with the heat press and that's what i did you don't necessarily have to get that one also have one of the handheld heat press which also looks great as well too so depending on the type of vinyl transfer that you have so <clears throat> it all depends on you know what you're going for what you're looking for to start off with um i do have a laptop as well here i'm working on the website let me turn the camera around. and to be honest i feel like i like more of the um what do they call it? Comfort colors. I feel like I like those a little bit better, just the softer material. But again, it's probably not mostly what I like. It's probably mostly what the customers like. So we're going to see how these work um, and how these go. So setting off heat press, um, you know, your laptop, although you could definitely do it on your phone. And I can show you guys some ideas and stuff like that, too. But um, I'm going to show you what the process of me making these right here. I'm going to show you guys that in another video. Like, I'll probably link it to this one and do a little voiceover. Um, and then that's about it. Um, some of the other materials, let me get some. You do need this, um, I don't know, I don't think it's called Teflon paper, but it might be. But it's the brown paper that you put after you have your design just to, like, finish out the press. Um, you know, make sure it's all, like, all synced into the material. Um, getting the shirts from... 
you know, different places like Jiffy, um, Bulk Apparel. Um, there are different places that you don't necessarily need a business license to get them from. Um, you can definitely get the heat press like we have in the background. You can get that off of Amazon. It doesn't necessarily have to be, um, you know, from specific websites. And that heat press back there was about 500, like a little over 500. Um, and I decided to get that one because I knew I was going to do a little bit more. Um, but you can definitely start off with a handheld, you can start off doing it, um, printing them and, um, you know, just shipping those out when you get the inventory. There are many different ways to do this, but just start. And speaking of that, just starting, I feel like I'm speaking to myself because, you know, it's hard to say just start, but then, you know, you keep thinking, like, I feel like that's the thing that stopped me. I had this in my mind for years, but I never like started. So it's like, you got to put your mind to it. You got to start. You got to keep going. You got to be advocate for yourself. Keep pushing. And, you know, if it's something that you really want to do, make sure that you get, you know, your brand out there. And um, that's one thing that I'm definitely working on. I'm a shy person in general. So um, I don't tend to tell people a lot of what I'm doing. I just kinda, tend to just do it. And then hopefully people will follow along. So um, that's what I'm working on. But just, you know, get out there and start. And don't get discouraged because, you know, you obviously have the people on, on TikTok and Instagram that make, like, you know the streetwear and they get you know sell out in like 30 to you know days stuff like that and sometimes that's not you know reasonable like you're not going to sell out and make like you know 100k in like a month like that's you know i'm just showing you the realistic part of it let's let's be real let's start um i'm selling these for like 38 to 42 dollars um we started from the bottom working our way up um and we're gonna go from there and you know you grow with your brand you see what you like what doesn't work what has been going well for you, what has not been going well. And just like you yourself, you're going to be changing as an individual as well as your business. So continue to keep pushing, keep growing, and motivate yourselves. Um, and ask for help when needed. Don't be afraid to. That's why I'm pushing out these videos too, just to give people advice of what I'm doing and how I'm starting. Um, so hopefully you will make the same mistakes that I've made. Um, but I'm just like, you know, trying to grow. And if you're you know, someone that's doing that and that's a part of the community, let me know because I would love to, you know, pick your brain and see how things are going for you. But yeah, this is definitely a starter place. I'm a mom doing this by myself in my mid 30s. I have a son on the autism spectrum. So, you know, just, just something to keep me mentally sane and focus and be creative and not necessarily think of, you know, my son all the time or having to go to therapy all the time and, um, you know, making sure that he's okay. Like, this is something that's for me. And, you know, my jewelry, it started off my jewelry and, um, you know, we're going to work our way up from there. These are some business cards that I have. So I have these for the event on um saturday so i made these i can definitely do a video but these have affirmations on the back and i figured i wanted something that people can keep too so these have affirmations on the back and then it has like a qr code so the qr code is where you can go to visit the website you can leave a review you can go ahead and um you know see our, our social medias or our music playlist our gratitude music playlist and then over here it's like a scratch so when you scratch it off you get like a little discount or like a special message that you can use the next time you make a purchase with us online so um these are pretty cute and fun i can show you guys how i made this but i thought it was like so such a good idea you know, i'm be corny like that so i'll be coming up with crazy stuff so i gotta do my inventory check make sure everything is good quality control check um oh yeah speaking of the event we also have this is gonna be a black history month event so i decided to get these um cute little shopping bags from the craft store so these were only two dollars a piece and I figured it'd be great to like fold up the product and put it in here because then that way when you walk around and you see, you know, people with these bags are going to be like, oh, where'd you get that from? Oh, I want to buy. So hopefully that encourages them. That's my thought process. So we're going to see how that works um, and get started. So the next clip, you'll see me um, making the actual sweatshirts. That scared me because I've never had that level of responsibility. I'm a big brother. I'm responsible for my little brother. <laughs> So I'm so happy with the way that these turned out. I am loving it. So these are the Dear Black Girl shirts. And then on the sleeve, it says deserving of all things good. So you just saw me pressing them. I was scared because the first time I did it, it did not come out right. I put it on the neck and I was like, 
it's not it's not working out so i gotta figure out another method that works good um so i just put these on the sleeve for now i did press them first get the moisture out then press it again with the actual transfer on it so these are done i have four sets of shirts for the event on friday on saturday including um jewelry as well so i gotta check that inventory everything else here is good i did um take out the ones that were not good because i don't want to you know sell those i'll just keep those for myself or give it you know to family or just donate it to the goodwill um or just use it as practice yeah maybe i'll keep it and use it as practice prints because like sometimes i'll have like um transfers i need to practice like you know pressing it down first make sure it's a good pressure um speaking of pressure when i do use this heat press i just turned it off when I do use this, I do keep this at the highest pressure um, when I am pressing it down and you just um, just turn the knob that's on it, but it's still hot. It's going to take a couple hours for it to cool down, so and then I'll move it a little bit later. But yeah, I'm excited. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to have a lot more videos coming out soon just to be more consistent um, and just show you guys my journey and how I'm doing things and um, just trying to grow a community because I can use the help. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching. And that's it. So I'm going to continue to make more videos too. So um, hopefully if you like what you see, let me know. Um, so I keep going and doing more stuff and support. Um, so I have four different shirts for Friday, Saturday. I'm excited. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Um, I'll put the links to stuff, stuff, uh, links of the items that I was talking about down below. Um, but that's about it. So thank you guys.